how you do it. Now, everything that you, if you, uh, if you want to know what I'm talking about, you're going to see me do the trick, but if you haven't seen the performance of it, just go look like three or four videos in the in the past on my channel and look for a uh, rope party trick. Everything that you do is exactly as, I, as you say. You do throw it over your wrist. There's nothing funny. You make two holes, you go in the back, this is just how I remember it, in the back loop, around through the front without ever letting go, just like this. And you basically made rope handcuffs. And then in you tell the audience, spectator, whoever you're showing this to, that you're going to, without letting go of the end, you're gonna flip the loops over the wrist without letting go of the ends. So how that looks is you go one, you go two, you go three, like that. And that's without ever letting go of the end. And now the dirty little secret part. So this is what really made, sells this this effect. You really are doing everything you say you are doing. You can have somebody fall along with a pair of, with a rope. You can do it with the. I've done it with shoelaces. I've done it with a person's tie. I've done it uh, for a bar bet to win a drink. I've done it in my magic shows. I've done it for kids shows. So this is one of those tricks that just works for everybody. And you can have somebody uh, do as you do without ever being able to guess it. So it's the same thing very easily. And then you make these handcuffs. Now this is the part where you're being dishonest. As you're flipping over your wrist with your middle finger, you are pinching this part of the rope or if you're left-handed this part of the rope I really hope I'm doing my lefts and rights here I don't know but either way you want to hold this as you're going and you do actually let go of the rope and then you'll pull it through and then it'll make the knot but let's do that in slow motion again get back to here as you go, you're pulling, you're pulling, and boom. As you're holding that part of the rope with your middle finger. Let me get back to this. Mm -hmm. There we go. Front view, without ever letting go. And then you can see, as soon as I slip my wrist through that, it's already a knot. but in full speed they never see you do that and eventually you get so fast you don't have to do anything but momentarily put your middle finger down there in the motion and then you get your finger back in place here so it looks like you never let go and you'll actually just tie that uh... so in the motion you're just boom and it happens so fast they miss it just like that but this is literally one of my favorite uh, rope effects period so one more time you're having you're showing them that it's over your wrist two holes in the back out the front makes rope handcuffs tell them you're gonna flip it over your wrist and tie a knot without letting go of either ends and then you do it Sometimes you get the knot to bounce like that and it looks pretty cool. And then you've tied a knot without letting go of either ends. So practice it, learn it, do it with a tie, do it with a shoelaces, uh, literally anything rope like about yay long is what you want. Um. So, um, me, preferably, uh, I get Japanese silk rope for all of my rope tricks. It's a little bit more expensive, but the rope looks really good and it feels really good because I do a lot of escapes and stuff too. And this, uh, this for some reason really works well. I don't know if it's the type of rope or not, but I think it is. So I highly recommend that and hope you enjoy this.